Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. You're with Nicole and if you're new here, I usually share lots of delicious homestyle recipes as well as baking tips and tricks. But today, as you can see, we are not in the kitchen. We are in our park and to be exact, we are in a park in Tasmania, Hobart. That's right, we flew in this morning and we're on holidays. <laughs> so no baking, but there is gonna be lots of exploring and lots of eating and I can't wait to share the journey with you all. I've had a few more requests to share this type of thing. So vlog style, holidays, where we go. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. And this trip is gonna be awesome. I'm so excited. We've been planning it for a little while. There's gonna be mountains involved. There's gonna be lots of fresh produce and eating. We may be hiring a van, hint, hint. And then we're gonna be cruising around, meeting up with friends and we also have something really, really special planned for one of the mornings as well, which you'll get to see very soon. As you can see, it's a little bit fresh, <laughs> a bit colder than back in sunny Queensland where I'm from. So I'm all rugged up and where we're going next is gonna get even colder. So I'm a little bit worried, but I'm also really excited because I love the cold air. Anyways, come and enjoy the journey with us. Good morning, day two, just woken up in Hobart. We have stayed in Salamanca Place, just had breakfast at Retro's across the road, got some scrambled eggs and a nice freshly squeezed juice. Today we're going to hit the road and head to Cradle Mountain, super excited. But before we pick up our van, we've got a few bits and pieces to pick up, some snacks for the trip. up in Campbelltown and it's a really cute little town here on the way to Cradle Mountain so we had another late lunch we went to this cool bakery called JJ's Bakery got a pie and got this apple crumble apple custard crumble it was really delicious um, we picked up our van this morning Woohoo! <laughs> so we are ready to go I cannot wait to get to Cradle Mountain the Sun is actually starting to go down so we kind of need to pin it now on the road and yeah tomorrow will be the whole day at Cradle cannot wait Morning guys, can you guess where I am? Hint in the background, that is Cradle Mountain, yes. And I'm so excited to be here. We have completely lucked out on weather. As you can see, it's absolutely glorious. So it's nice and cool. Um, the sun is out and it's a bluebird, which is actually quite rare. And is, there is no wind whatsoever. So today we're going to be here the whole day. We're going to be out exploring some of the trails, having some snacks along the way and getting some photos, of course. Right behind me here is the very beautiful, very famous Dove Lake. So we're going to be making our way around the circuit this morning. I think it's around two to three hours um, for the loop and we'll be stopping in at the boat shed as well for that classic picture. With all this beauty, I am a bit in awe. It is just absolutely stunning, absolutely breathtaking. And everyone has said how amazing it is here in Cradle Mountain, but you gotta really come here to experience it. And I'm just so stoked to be here. First time ever in Tasmania. So I can't wait to get out and explore the trail. Spread the boat shed on Dove Lake. As you can see, absolutely beautiful, super cute. No boats, <laughs> but um, yeah. Sun's still out and I'm just gonna take a minute now, probably have a cup of tea and chill out and just be a lizard soak up the sun. Had a few issues with our heater in our camper van. <laughs> so yeah, at the moment the dash heater isn't working and it's absolutely freezing. So we've only got this 
little fan one that we can use when we're plugged into electricity. So I feel like it's taking me all day to just defrost and yeah, just lapping up this sunshine. Every time you see me, I'm somewhere different. And today we are in Honeymoon Bay in Freysenay. Oh my gosh, here for sunset. It is absolutely picture perfect as you can see. I've never seen anything like it, it doesn't even look real. Um, it's just so beautiful. You got the beautiful ocean, you got mountains in the background. And it's just really peaceful here in Tasmania, which is really, really, really nice. And I really appreciate that peace and quiet you just kind of feel like you're here alone even though there's people around still not too busy so we're here in may um and as you can see it's quite fresh so um it was really really cold in cradle mountain it was about zero degrees <laughs> during the day it did warm up a little bit um and then from there we went to launceston so in launceston we caught up with some friends and went out for dinner it was really nice and that was really short and sweet wish we could have stayed there longer and we didn't get too much footage there sorry <laughs> because we had to pin it here because this morning we had the most epic, epic flight. The flight took us all over um, Wineglass Bay and Shooton Island. We had to do a couple of laps in the end because we couldn't land because there was so much fog. Um, which is really crazy. So we were just lapping the sky for like another 10, 15 minutes and I was starting to get a bit worried that we might have to go to a different airport. But luckily we got back. Uh, and then today have just been relaxing and yeah, now we're here for sunset. In true baker fashion, I did check out the local bakery this morning. I don't know how these have lasted all day, <laughs> but we have been waiting for the perfect moment. So we did get an almond croissant. Check it out, looks so good actually looks like my little logo on the t-shirt my little graphic so that's a good croissant and we also got chocolate chip muffin yay we're only here for a little bit longer and then tomorrow we're going to go to Cape Rule which is really exciting so we're just going to lap up this last bit of sun and enjoy the moment. Good morning, good morning. So it's a new day, which means we are in a new place. And today we have woken up in Cape Rao or Cape Rule. I'm not quite sure if you know how to pronounce it correctly. Let me know in the comments below. But anyways, we are in one of the southernmost points um, on the Tasman Peninsula. It's absolutely stunning. We did the little trek um, this morning to the lookout, Cape Rao lookout. Um, so I think it's about a two, maybe two and a half hour return trek. Um, it's just the, the first part of what is a five to six hour trail. We won't be doing that one today. <laughs> but we did get here this morning for a beautiful sunrise. Sunrise is at 7.25 this morning. So it's a really nice time to wake up in the morning. And yeah, it wasn't too early. So up about 5.15 and then on the track by about just after six. So yeah, we're here for sunrise. It's absolutely stunning. There's not a lot of wind about, beautiful weather, no complaints from me. 
So today is the last day that we're going to be traveling around in our van. We'll do a little bit of sightseeing and then it's back to Hobart to relax and finish the trip. Welcome to my humble abode. Come and check out where I've been living for the last, I was going to say month, but it's only a week. <laughs> Come on in. So this is the camper van that we've had and I just thought I'd do um, a really quick walk through and just show you where we've been for the last week, getting around Tasmania. Um, it's through Apollo campers or Apollo motorhomes and it saved us a lot of money because obviously the van acts as your accommodation and your transport. As you can see here, the main driver's seat here swivels. So when you're driving, obviously you're facing that way. And when you're stopped, you can pull up and spin the chair around. It's a nice spot to have your morning coffee or tea. Just before we get into the kitchen, this here is a little TV and you can actually unhook it and take it over to where the bedroom or your mattress is. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, in the kitchen over here, we have a really nice size fridge, which I was really surprised by. I thought that it would just be like a little bar fridge, but it's surprisingly really good size. Um, we also have the microwave here and then that's just the main switchboard. Over here, we have the little sink area where you clean everything. And then we have actually a little gas stove top. It's a bit dirty, don't look too close, but there's three little cookers here. So this fan has gas, it has electricity and it has water as well. Obviously you've got to be connected for the electricity when you pull up to a site. Um, but then they've kitted it out the kitchen as well. There's some glasses and mugs and more wine glasses there and then in the drawers we have all of the cutlery didn't need to bring anything plates bowls some other bits and bobs and then we've got some pots and pans made a really nice omelet on this pan that was really cool so yeah is all decked out ready to go didn't need to bring a thing and then over this way this here is where you go to sleep so surprisingly it has a really big thick mattress on it and I'm pretty fussy with my mattress but this one has been pretty good considering that you know it's in a van um, the pillows here too have been really comfy and yeah at the moment it's just doubling as some storage space and there's just some more storage overhead as well. If you're wondering what's in this secret door, this here is the shower and the toilet. You can have a little sneak peek. This has been our home for the week. Just wanted to do a little run through, show you what we've been doing and highly recommend it. Um, this is, as I said, a camper through Apollo. Definitely if you want to get from A to B quickly and in comfort, then this type of thing is for you.